we made it through the night. I didn't think we were going to make it. I thought it was going to be really tough. We were, uh, it was raining last night. Uh, we turned the power walls. We shut the main breaker at like six o'clock and we were at 60%. But I woke up this morning and it's, uh, I woke up earlier, but right now it's 8.53 and we're at 22% battery. And uh, we're also got the solar that's replenishing the battery right now. It's still, it's like a cloudy day, overcast. So um, hopefully today um, we'll, get, uh, we'll get the battery filled to 100% and have enough power to last us through the night. And it's funny when you flip the main breaker and you're fully running off the power walls, a lot of people say when they drive Model S's they get range anxiety. And that's what you feel when you're running off just batteries in the home. You feel range anxiety, like, am I going to make it through the night? And you are more conscious of shut that light off, um, you know, things that you're not using, just making sure that they're disconnected. But um, today we're going to be home for this morning and then we're going to be out for a majority of the day. So we're not going to be using too many things. And... Hopefully when we get back later on, probably around like five or six that the batteries are juiced up and uh, we'll update you later. Just one other point I wanna make before uh, signing out for the day, because as I put the camera down, I thought about it. And the reason we use the sun power panels is today it's an overcast day. It's, uh, it's cloudy out right now. It's only nine o'clock in the morning. I have a direct east facing roof, so that's good for morning sun. But still there's no direct sunlight hitting the roof. It's cloudy. And right now we're still producing power right now to replenish some of the batteries and go to the home. And that's because we'll use these bad boys right here. These are the Sun Power Maxion cells that are in each of these 96 cells in each panel. We'll go through more about them later, but that's the secret weapon that keeps these batteries filled up on days like today. Eight hours later. Uh, you saw my video from a little earlier this morning. I'm now home and it's 8.30 p.m. and a full 24 hours has passed of us running strictly on sun power panels on the roof and three Tesla power walls in the basement. So we did it. We made it through last night. I didn't think we were going to pull through, but we did. And today, right now at 8.30, I think we're in a better position than we were last night. So a couple things, we'll just go through a full 24 hours went by, uh, we'll go over that, anything that was unexpected, and then, um, you know, just the position we're in, I think we're in a little better position tonight after uh, last night when we turned the battery on at 60% charge at 6 o'clock at night. So um, the first thing is a full 24 hours went by and everything was running, nothing we didn't sacrifice anything. We used the air, um, the heat pumps, Mitsubishi heat pumps that are in, one's in my bedroom and one is in the living room. We shut the living room, living room unit off before we went to bed and we're just running off the one in the bedroom. Um, the other thing, we, you know, the fridge, the dryer, everything was running. The one thing that I thought uh, that I didn't realize, which I thought was kind of interesting was the uh, the dryer, seeing the usage that was coming from the dryer, I think that was pretty interesting. So this was this afternoon. Um, this this was the the dryer. Uh, this was later in the morning. Uh, the dryer and what what it was using at the time. There, yeah, there was other things running in the house, but we were pulling 5.7 kilowatts. So that was like right after we get up you know we're getting the day going we're making coffee all that kind of stuff and i'm like oh we had made it through the night 20 percent. but then i'm like whoa 5.7 kilowatts we might not make it through the morning but the sun started to hit and we pulled through and it was really great so uh then this other screenshot was at um 909 i thought this was pretty interesting too so this screenshot shows the solar um, producing 1.7 kilowatts and charging the house. 
So what it did is it put the battery in reserve mode. It said, all right, don't pull from the battery anymore. There's only 21% left in the battery. Let's save that. Let's let the house use everything that the solar is producing. So I thought that that was, that was pretty cool to see that feature because you really don't know those things when you're running in um, uh, self-consumption mode. The other one right now, I'll just go into this. This is where, this is where we're currently at. So right now it's 8.34 p.m. Uh, Sunday night and both batteries are, th all three batteries are at 82% charge. So a lot better position than we were yesterday. And right now the home is using 3.3 kilowatt hours. So this is something I thought was pretty cool. So this is our, that's our energy usage. That's our solar power production throughout the day. So you can see today we produced 9.3 kilowatt hours of solar. And then I'm gonna hit this button up here. Where is it? Uh, and that's our batteries. So that's what the home was using. And then you could see underneath the yellow, which is right over here. This is the batteries being charged by the solar. So you could see all those different peaks and valleys. On the yellow ones, those peaks and valleys are the sun, a radiance hitting the roof. A cloud may come over, production may drop, it may go up. And the green is all of, if it's below the line, down here, it's getting charged. If it's above the line up here, that means we're using all that power. So that was uh, that was pretty cool to see. Basically today by, uh, today by 3.30, let me check here. Today by, today by 3.25 p.m all the batteries were charged. So by three o'clock, everything was being, uh, all three batteries were topped off, ready for the night. So what happens then is um, the solar actually shuts down. So when the batteries are topped off, the home's not using anything. You could see at, uh, what is it? It's 5.15, you'll see that drop off. Um, that means the solar stopped producing because there's nowhere for the energy to go if the home's not using it. And if the uh, batteries are fully charged, it's a wrap. They don't need anything else. So that was, uh, that was pretty cool to see. Tomorrow, I'll do like a screen share. I'll screen record this and then, you know, it'll be a little higher quality than this video, but I just, I committed to getting one video out every day for, you know, I guess a week I'm committing to, but we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. I just want to get these videos out, and I'll sacrifice a little quality just to uh, to express what's taking place. And right now it's 8:30 at night, and we're fully charged, and we're looking good for tomorrow. So day one in the books. Um, please like and subscribe to the channel to stay updated. I hope these videos are helpful. I really haven't seen anybody else on YouTube that is running in full off-grid mode with their Tesla Powerwall. So for, for me, it's interesting to see it and I hope it's useful for everyone else. I don't recommend doing what I'm doing at my home. This is more for an example to show what's possible. I mean, right now in my home is my beautiful wife, my dog, myself, and uh, it's just the three of us right now. So usually in a home, maybe there'd be obviously a lot more people. So maybe this wouldn't work out, but for my situation right now, uh, this test is so far passed with an A plus day one, and we'll see how this week goes. I definitely know this test would have passed with flying colors if I did this in the summertime. It's a little riskier now doing it in, you know, the, the fall time when I have an east facing roof. My roof is literally facing east this direction. So by the time the sun is setting over here, uh, my roof is not getting any any production the rest of the day. So we're signing out. Day one is in the books. We made it. And day two is coming at you tomorrow. And please remember to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date throughout the week. Peace.